Remember having these as a kid? You'd have two cups and a string. You'd talk into one, the vibration would travel down the string and you could hear it over here. Well, this sometimes popped off and you're left with just this. That's not a bad thing because watch what happens. If you get your fingers wet and you get the string wet, listen to that vibration, listen. Isn't that fantastic? This is the perfect toy to give your kids. All right, what if you were to take the string and replace it with a spring? Look at this. I have a, uh, a can from the hardware store. It's just a paint can and this little flimsy spring that's here. But now listen to this. You don't have to pull your hand down. Oh, that's cool. Listen to this. It's that vibration of the spring that gives you a sound of thunder. <gasps> Professional thunder tube? Yes, a special effects artist might use this. That. It's still that same canister with a spring attached in here. I know what you're thinking. What about a 55 gallon drum? What about a five gallon bucket? Who cares? You could do it all because you got all the time in the world. I'm Steve Spangler and that's your Science Minute. It's going to be a storm.